So I went to the main market yesterday and I found this beautiful tongue. It's cow tongue. It's about kilo a hundred. And it's very cheap because not many people use it here. I don't know why. Because it's one of the best tasting meats to my opinion. It's very tender. It's very easy to cook. So the only problem here is that my pot is not big enough. I'll just have to cook in two parts. If you have a big pot, you can just cook everything at once. That's the best way. And let's start with it. I have some water here. And this is a traditional way of cooking. I'm going to throw in an onion. If it's too big, you can only throw in maybe half of it. And I'm going to put a couple bay leaves. And I'm going to use some herbs. I'm going to use some thyme. I'm also throwing in some salvia and I'm gonna throw in some marjoram and again this is my perf personal mix everyone has their own recipe this is what I like it gives some flavor to it now that this is ready we're gonna put our tongue in Again, you can put the whole thing if you have a bigger pot. Um, we're gonna leave it there. It's gonna cook for about two hours, two hours and a half. It takes very long. Um, you'll notice that it starts being very kind of rubbery, very hard, but it will get soft. Uh, at the end, the meat will be very, very soft. I'm gonna complete some water here. You want your tongue to be completely covered. Um, it will be boiling for a while, so again, you have to be taking like care of the water, not to running out or being too low. I'm gonna cover it and let's let it boil there for maybe hour and a half, and then we can check. So I checked hour and a half; it was not ready. This has been boiling now about two hours. And you can check it with a knife, a fork. I'm gonna use a toothpick. And you can just go in there and you'll notice it's very soft. You have barely any resistance. And that that's when you know it's ready. So I think this is ready now and we can take it to a chopping board. Now we have it in the chopping board, and the first thing we have to do is this white skin, we have to take it off. It's very tough, you don't want to eat that, but you'll notice that it just star starts coming off by itself, and that's one of the ways you can also tell that it's, r it's already cooked and it's ready, because it will just start coming off. It's a bit too hot, uh, you can also help yourself with a piece of cloth or something. If you have these cloves for cooking and handling stuff, that will be very useful. But now we removed all the white stuff. We have a couple spots, but we can remove them later when we cut it. So now I'm just going to start cutting everything. Some people cut it very small. Some people cut it into slices. Some people cut it into cubes. You can cut it however you want. You'll notice that the meat's very soft. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it depends on what you're using it for. Uh, I'm using it for tacos, so I'm cutting into small squares or small cubes. Now, this meat is ready, and I'm gonna wait for the other half of the tongue to be ready, and I'm gonna chop everything together. Uh, you can already have this. But the other part of the tongue, the back part, is a bit more greasy, so it has a bit more flavor, and it's nicer when you chop all those together and mix it. So here I have some corn tortillas. It's not very common. I can't always find them. Uh, you can use wheat tortillas if you cannot find this. 
it doesn't really matter. It's just a personal personal preference. On the north of Mexico, they use more the wheat. Uh, on the south and center, they use corn. But it's still pretty good. Just top this off with some uh, fresh coriander, some chopped onions. They're really good. It keeps a lot of freshness, uh, some crunchiness when you bite. And well, you can check out my other video. I made this fresh tomato and habanero sauce. I think this sauce goes perfectly with tongue uh, or with any kind of tacos, to be honest. Uh, and you're gonna finish this with some lime that keeps the final acidity to the dish. Uh, that's how you will usually find it in Mexico. It's always you always have limes, and now you have tongue tacos. Uh, they're very delicious. I love them. So, if you like the video, like, subscribe, share with your friends, write down your comments or questions, and see you in the next one.